Good morning. It's day nine on the Camino de Santiago Frances. Today is September, Friday, September 22nd. It is 10 degrees outside, a bit chilly. I'm leaving Logroño. My name is Claudia and this is my Wonderless Camino. Welcome. Um, so yesterday was a rest day in Logroño. Uh, it was a Dia de San Mateo. So a huge festival on Wednesday and Thursday all night. It is 6.30. I don't know if I already said that. Um, but I see still people going home. <laughs> so it was a big party. Logroño is a beautiful city. Highly recommend coming to it. Highly recommend taking a rest day, especially during this time. But if you do, make sure that you reserve early because um, it was hard to get a room here. So I heard. All right, today I'm going to Nahara. It, it is 28 kilometers. Um, there is a 12 kilometer stretch this morning between Logroño and Navarrete. That's the first town. Um, to get out of Logroño, it is approximately five kilometers of uh, car dealerships and um, other such things. So not much to see. Um, yeah, so the I'm hoping that uh, to grab breakfast in Navarrete and it should take me hopefully two hours to get there. So breakfast around 8.39. I'll chat to you later. Locals are so nice. Someone just saw me and they're like, you have to go this way. And I hear people still partying over there at 6.30 a.m. They haven't gone home yet. No other pilgrims in sight. A lot of people choose to either take the bus out of Logroño and skip those first five kilometers, or they do a short day to Navarrete. Um, and uh, because it's so they don't have to do the 28 kilometers, so they do two short days. So I just left Lake Grogno. It's behind me. <clears throat> so leaving Lake Grogno. Uh, wasn't very well uh, marked, at least not where I was walking. Uh, you start seeing just painted arrows on the sidewalk, but they're very faint. And then once you're past the car dealerships, there's like this gas station and you're supposed to go to the right of the gas station past these um, apartment buildings that kind of looked a bit sketch. And then after that, you go down the street where it's like a, a bottling facility for wine bottles, I think, because it smelled like wine. Um, and no arrow markers, nothing there. And then you have to go behind an alley type thing. I was, oh, uh, yeah, I was like, uh, this doesn't seem right, but I was using the Buen Camino app and it was telling me to go that way. So after I come out on the other side of, of the alley, <laughs> Um, behind this factory, um, I see, I finally see pilgrims. I'm like, ah, oh, they must have come from somewhere else to join the Camino. So there is four pilgrims ahead of me now, and now it's just a path. There's a cycling path and a walking path. And the sun's coming up.
feel like I'm walking through the Beltline Trail in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Two pilgrims living rough. That might be never a day. I've been walking for over two hours, nine and a half kilometers. It makes sense. Maybe not. But yeah, it is uh, 8.50. It's been an okay walk. Pretty much just like either on gravel or road building the highway over here. It is 9.14, made it to Navarrete, uh, need to find some coffee first, breakfast, I've been walking for two and a half hours, so coffee first. in these little towns like this is the church of Navarrete like incredible So if you're walking through Navarrete, definitely go into the church. Just incredible. So the Navarrete region, Navarrete region is known for pottery. And that's the outside of the church. Just beautiful. And I just ran into Mike and Sue from Colorado, the people I had dinner with last night. <clears throat> and um, they're in their 70s, mid-70s, and they said it was a good walk-in. It was. She was a bit worried. She was considered, considering um, taking the bus, and she ended up walking, and she was glad because it was really beautiful. Good walk-in. So now I'm off to Nahara. Um... It is 16 kilometers if you go straight, 17 if you do the variant and go into Ventosa, and that takes you through vineyards, um, and I'll add the town. Whereas if you just go straight to Nahara, there's no town. It's just from here to Nahara. Um, so I think, yeah, I'll, I'll do the variant for sure. I just gotta try to figure out if I'm going the right way. There's no arrows. Gotta look at my app.
I've been walking for three and a half hours, almost 15 kilometers, and it's been beautiful. So you have vineyards on both sides, and then you have the mountains. Just beautiful. And it's cool. I would say probably 13, and the sun's out. Look at those mountains. It is beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's do a health update. Uh, my cold's getting better. I think my cough is done. My throat's feeling a bit better. Uh, my knee. My knee's been good today. I have the KT tape on and the knee brace. There's only been a few hills, so the downhill bothers my knee. But going straight, it's good. Uh, yeah, other than that, mind good, body good. No other health concerns. My feet are great, doing great. Uh, not sore, been sleeping great. Uh, the rest days are really nice to sort of, you know, recoup and get yourself together for the next few days. So I think it's like now I have four or five days uh, until Burgos and then Burgos I will take another rest day. So that's my health update. So here is the variant. Straight you go straight into Nayara and then here you go into Ventosa and it says one more kilometer and it's a one kilometer artboard walk. and then head back out. It says 593 kilometers to Santiago. Could it be? So for the most part it's been straight and just a really nice road and now we've got this rocky uneven terrain again. Okay, this is the room. I'm sharing with two other people. 
I picked this one. I should have picked this one because then I could use my um, towel as a cover. There's a woman up here and a man, boy, young man, Charles from the U.S. And this is mine. I'm just going to do my laundry. Um, I don't recognize the backpack, but I know it's a woman. So we'll see. And we got a little balcony where we can hang our clothes. So I'm going to go just rinse up my clothes and then I'm going to go eat. Quickly show you the showers. So this is communal um, toilets here and then shower here. There's three showers. All the same. And two toilets. Just took a shower. Laundry. That is. Yeah, order it. So I'm just gonna wash it because they've been drying pretty quick. Um, it's more my socks that take a bit longer so I might have to wear the other pair. But it's quite sunny and windy so it might dry. This is the Monasterio de Santa Maria La Real in Najera. This is inside the monastery. the night off. Oops, just dropped my thing. Um, all right, today's walk was great. Really enjoyed it. 30 kilometers, no issues. It was a quick walk. Uh, I mean, quick. Uh, it took me six and a half hours, but it was, the weather was great, perfect temperature. Um, I walked with Sue and Mike for the last eight kilometers. Um, really enjoyed it. They're in their mid 70s and they were walking at my pace, no problem. Um, so the cost for today, I spent 40 euros and that's 15 euros to stay at the albergue. And then I had a pilgrim's meal when I got in, uh, which was 13 euros. Uh, and then I went to the grocery store and I got some stuff to make a yogurt bowl. So I got papaya, walnuts, yogurt, Greek yogurt. Um, made a bowl so I had that and then I had a cup of noodle and I got a few more pepperoni sticks too. That is it. I will talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to, I can't remember the name, um, but it's only a 21 kilometer day so nice and easy compared to today. Have a good night.